Sad news today out of Toledo, Ohio, where a gunman opened fire at a farmer's market. Here at HNN, we refuse to mention the names of rampage killers, so we'll simply be referring to the suspect as the shooter, or Needle Dick. Our HNN Toledo affiliate has more. Rita, no word yet on Needle Dick's motivation, but it appears he opened up fire here, and totally unconfirmed reports indicate he yelled, I have a Needle Dick and I wet the bed. I wet the bed with my Needle Dick. Why even use a toilet? I have to sit down anyway. Ryan, any word on how it started? Witnesses say an adult Caucasian male, Needle Dick, came out of the restroom here at the west side of the market. I'm not sure whether it was the men's room or the ladies' room. Based on the size of what we'll call his penis, it could have been either one. Then he just opened fire, yelling, like I said before, about his severely undersized unit. That's when two older women and their poodle tackled him. And between Needle Dick, the two women, and the poodle, who had the smallest penis? <laughs> Definitely Needle Dick. No doubt if you put him in any grouping, Needle Dick will have the tiniest penis. Uh, again, these are unconfirmed reports that I may have just made up so as not to satisfy the desires of this sociopath. Needle Dick. Thanks, Ryan. I'm sure it's all true about the tiny ween. Police have just released a photo of Needle Dick, but until we can confirm the authenticity of the photo and to prevent other Needle Dicks from seeing this Needle Dick's face and wanting to be like this Needle Dick, we'll only release a sketch based on various witness accounts. We've tracked down some people who knew Needle Dick. And although it may not be responsible reporting, it does shed some light on Needle Dick, who by all accounts was quiet and kept to himself. I used to get his mail a lot, and honey, let me tell you, it wasn't nothing in there but just penis pills all the time. Like 24-7, 369, we would get his mail and think it was something good, like a watch or a bracelet or some shoes. Nope. Penis pills for his small penis. He was shy, probably because he had such a tiny penis. I mean, I never even saw it. Like, I saw him naked once, but like, I never saw his penis. Like, I looked at the place where a penis would go, but anyways, I was sleeping with a ton of other dudes at the time. Who are you talking to? We have with us in studio psychiatrist and former FBI profiler, Richard Holder. Dr. Holder, what can you tell us about the mindset of this man? Needle Dick. Well, Rita, Needle Dick actually left behind a manifesto. It was his idea that media outlets would plaster his message <laughs> across the nation. But what I think is interesting and what I see in this guy is somebody who is just super upset about how tiny his super small penis is. If I may paraphrase, what he's saying is, I don't like some stuff about the government, and I have a tiny, tiny pee pee in my britches. So you're saying this somehow justifies his actions? No, 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 Rita, Rita, don't get me wrong. I, I think that it's very important to note that not everyone with a small penis commits an act of violence, but this is an extreme case of a man with nearly invisible genitalia. And with that, let's go to our chief medical correspondent, Benedict Sotheby. Benedict, how small was his penis? Tiny, Rita. Small. Minuscule. We're actually consulting with theoretical physicists to discuss the, the boson quantity of his penis. No matter how small you're imagining it, it's smaller than that. Quantum foam stuff. We've heard a lot about his penis, but what about the size of his testicles? Oh, it's unlikely he had any balls at all. Thanks, Doctor. And when we come back, more needle dick coverage. Prison rape expert Big Bear Johnson will tell us how many dozens of times Needle Dick can expect to be raped behind bars before being murdered in the cafeteria to the sound of applause. Thanks for watching HNN. Be sure to subscribe to the channel right over there. Like us on Facebook for more information and updates on Needle Dick and other stories.